So now let's shift over to what the uh, administration and what the White House is saying about all of this. This is a spectacular compilation. You guys know this new White House press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre. She's a black lesbian. Uh, she, <laughs> it's Pride Month, people. I'm trying to give credit where credit is due, okay? Spectacular black lesbian, one of the best. She is one of the top five black lesbians that we have in America right now. Uh, here she is, a little compilation explaining uh, what the White House is uh, doing about all this inflation stuff. Is it a problem? Is it a hardship? Is it a crisis? I, what is it that people know, are facing? It, it is, we're just in a difficult time right now with this inflation. That's why he's doing everything that he can. Does President Biden take any responsibility for his policies potentially contributing to <laughs> inflation? His policies has helped the economy get back on its feet. That's what his policy has his policies has done. Um, this, when we talk about the gas prices right now, this is indeed Putin's gas hike. This is what we have seen in the most recent months of of what we've seen at the gas pump, and so that is a fact. We have seen about sixty percent increase. Uh, uh, in the past several months and because of uh, the amassing and his invasion of Ukraine. And so the president, his goal right now and what he is frustrated about is what the, peop what the American people have to go through and what they are trying to deal with as they are, as they are, uh, are around their kitchen table. So that is his focus right now. In some places in this country now, a gallon of gas costs more than people on the federal minimum wage are making in an hour. What does the White House want these people to do to stop driving to work? Look, the president understands what it feels like. Um, Deese just spoke, spoke about this. Brian Deese was just here and talked about how he understands what it means for people who are sitting at their kitchen table and see gas prices go up. He understands that feeling personally, or seeing prices uh, of grocery store of uh, grocery uh, groceries go up in the grocery store. This is something that he is uh, inherently aware of, and he's doing everything that he can. As Deese Brian Deese was just here, uh, um, his economic advisor, uh, one of his top economic advisors are laying out what he is planning to do or continue to do to make sure that we lower costs at the gas pump. He also said, Brian also said that we are dealing with an unprecedented time with global challenges that we have never seen before. And that includes clearly the pandemic, uh, that includes Putin's uh, tax hike that, that we're seeing this past couple of months uh, that has had an effect on gasoline, gasoline prices. A dollar and 50 cents went up uh, since uh, uh, Putin has amassed uh, his troops on the border of Ukraine, these are real, uh, real, uh, you know, global issues uh, that has led to this moment. But the president is doing everything that he can to make sure that we address this issue. All right. First off, before I address anything she said there, I, you know, right before I brought that clip out, I said that she's a top five black lesbian. My guys did some Googling as we were showing that. So we want to list out some other black lesbians and, and you decide. It's not really for me to say who a top five black lesbian is, but we got a couple other black lesbians here. We got Linda Bellos. I have no idea who that is. Angela Davis. I don't know who that is. Storm DeLavare. I don't know who that is. Jackie Kay. I don't know who that is. Are you just making up names? What is this? Uh, oh, Lori Lightfoot. Lori Lightfoot, definitely a top five black lesbian. Audra Lord, I don't know who that is, and Wanda Sykes. I do know Wanda Sykes, comedian Wanda Sykes. So I, I think it's a fair statement to say, you know, I know the fact checkers and the disinformation people are gonna be all over me. She's not a top five black lesbian, but I think by what I just read there, she absolutely is. As per the uh, content of what she said right there, I mean, a couple of great lines. We're just in a difficult time. You know, guys, uh, the shit's hitting the fan. What, what, what do you want us to do about it? His policies has helped the economy get back on its feet. Uh, no, it's actually done the reverse of that. Uh, and finally, uh, Joe Biden, he understands what it feels like. I mean, the guy does not even know where he is. So the point is, she's just repeating, it's just drivel. It's just drivelous nonsense.